we can get a little more in depth with our if and else blocks if we use another keyword which is the else if. The else if allows us to ram conditions one after another in what's known as an else if ladder. This may look a little more complicated but it's actually just an extension of the same idea. The way it goes is if this first condition is evaluated true then this statement here is carried out and we skip right to the end. However, if this statement is not true, then we move on to the first else if that follows it. Then we evaluate this condition. If that condition is true, we carry out these statements and then skip right to the end. However, if it's false, we move on. We could nest as many else ifs as we wanted in the middle there, but finally at the end, we either come to the end of the block, end of all the blocks, the whole ladder itself, or we come to an else statement right at the end, which is kind of the default, the catch-all. If none of these conditions have been met along the way, and we're still going up down the ladder, then we come to the else, and then this, uh, these are the statements that will be executed. We keep bouncing down the ladder until we hit a true condition, or until we hit the else block, or until we hit the end of the ladder, in which case we'll carry out none of the statements. Taking a quick look back at our text editor, we can modify our if statement here and our else to turn the else into an else if. And you can see the way in which we use an else if in Perl is to actually run the words together and skip out the e at the end of the else. greater than 3, we can print. We can add another condition. If A is less than 3, then we can feed back something to the user about that. And if none of these conditions are met, then we can print out a rather puzzled message at the end. Because A is, if A is not equal to 3, and if A is greater than 3, and if A is not less than 3, then it's quite likely that A is not a numeric value at all, and that we're comparing something quite inappropriate to the number 3. Let's see what happens if we try and use a string. the string evaluates to less than 3 because as we noticed earlier because we're using a numeric figure here the value of the a variable has to be converted to a number that makes sense to the numeric operator and in this case it is converted to the number 1 and therefore we hit less than 3 so even a string value for the variable a doesn't get us to this point. But it's sometimes handy in a program to use a catch-all clause like this at the end of our else if ladder or at the end of any series of conditions just to make sure that we've covered all of our bases. So even if we never expect this line to execute, it's still worthwhile putting a line like it in so that in case the unexpected happens, we've got some way of telling what's going on.